Hey guys, back at the bench here. Um, I'm just gonna show you how I do my chrome trims. Um, I noticed my lens got a little bit of 2K on it from having it uh, so close to the booth. I think I got it cleaned off, so I think that looks okay. Um, basically for my chrome trims, I spray them. I mask and spray them. Um, I don't like metal foil. I shouldn't say I don't like it. I probably am not that great with it. That's probably why I don't like it, but I just find I get some wrinkles in it or I can get wrinkles in it and I see them and I fixate on that. Um, so I've had better luck spraying. I like to um, use Super Chrome by AK, which is fairly new. Um, I believe it's alcohol based. I don't know if it says that on it. Special ink with permanent finish, 100% glossy chrome effect, total coverage, no primer required, but a black primer can be used as a base. Paint on smooth surfaces for a better finish. For sure, I like to gloss black under anything I can if I'm chroming. I don't like kit chrome, so generally I will de-chrome, um, put a black on it, and to be honest with you, I 2K most of my stuff, and then I put this on after. Um, like this has been 2K'd, so it's nice and shiny, but if I do bumpers, grills, whatnot, I'll do the same. I'll 2K them over black and have a really high gloss finish. The downside to that is fragility. Being smooth, you can rub it off. So handling things, um, it sucks to rub off. Um, but I've had good luck with uh, this. It seems to be more hardy. Um, some comparable things are I think this is getting more popular, Green Stuff World, uh, which I think this is like New Zealand or I think that's where it comes from, um, Green World stuff. Now I um, prefer the non-airbrush stuff. I airbrush this non-airbrush stuff and I prefer it through the airbrush even more than I do this. Not saying this is bad because it works okay too. But um, I airbrush this, and I will give this credit, it brush paints much better than this. So I use a combination of these, um, depending on the application. But generally I've been using this, and um, this brush paints much better. This um, is tougher finish than this. This rubs off a lot easier than this will. Um, Another one that got me into the alcohol type chrome paints is K Colors. I don't think this is made anymore, but I do believe the guy's name that does this is Christian something. I think he's an Italian guy, and I think he has a new product that's the same thing. Um, this stuff is really nice. Uh, I can't comment on durability on it just because I haven't used it in a while. I used to use this when I was doing aircraft. Um, and they're out of business, so I'm just throwing that out there. This should be the really easy to find in the North American market, being that it's AK. Um, and it works awesome. You guys probably are using Molotov, and that's cool. Works good. I just find it's um, not very durable. Um, not nearly as durable, I would say, as this. Now, I do put this in my incubator after I do it, and I bake it on. I don't know if that's helping with durability or not, but, um, yeah, so, um, I also noticed on my, this would be the GTX, um, the rear, I've seen the rear in black, and I did mine in gunmetal, so I'm going to do this in gunmetal. That's just a side duck, because I just saw it sitting there. Um, 
But yeah, I'll show you how I um, tape my stuff and uh, spray my chrome. And it's going to be really boring because it's watching me put masking tape on. This is Tamiya tape, but it's not. It's actually Zucumira. And I got it off Sprue Brothers. Same tape as Tamiya. I think it's a bit cheaper. And Sprue Bros is great um, for shipping in North America. So I know it's mainly an aircraft. Um, I believe it's mainly aircraft and armor. But um, yeah. Now, I really like, I'm just going to move my phone out of the way. I really like um, these. I don't know if they're called cuticle um, toothpicks, whatever. I like the wood because it doesn't scratch things, and this sharp tip is nice. Um, it's great for burnishing stuff, getting stuff right down there in the groove. So basically. Push this down. Then I take my knife. Don't press too hard. I carefully Follow the groove. And you want to make sure you get these cuts. Crisp in the corners. Or you'll lift your tape and have kind of a Dick around to to get them off. Let's see how we're doing here. Um, almost pulled the wrong side because on my camera, which means my brains fall out. So yeah, and then I pull that off, and let's zoom in. In. I pull my tape off and then you can kind of take a look over it and um, make sure everything's burnished. Actually it looks pretty good. I thought I had taken a little bit too much there but I haven't. So that looks pretty good. Um, pieces of tape here. Now on these ones I can kind of just follow the trim so I don't even have to uh, cut it because it's a straight line. Which is great. Get that nice and burnished in there. Gotta go to work here shortly. I just figured I would do a quick little video. Um, that's great. I'm. I have. Uh, I don't have much feeling in my hands, so I'm kind of clumsy on things. If you're watching me and think, Jesus, what the hell is he doing? It. Uh, I've got some previous health things that make me a little bit clumsier than you guys are, that's for sure. So it's not for lack of caring or trying, I'm just uh, 
Just where I'm at. This one's hard to see, so I'm going to grab my other body. Yeah, it's a uh, very fine line here. Very fine. And then these are kind of a separate, the wipers. So... I even do the wipers as a separate. Just brush them with the Green World stuff. We'll see here in a second. Make sure that these. Damn it. There we go. Took my cut quite. Let's see what that does. Let's see what we got there. Doing okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. There's a little piece of tape bugging me here. There we go. And I think... A little piece here. I did a new setup here at my bench last night. Um, I moved my computer over to this side and uh, added another screen. So my screen for my camera is actually about uh, a couple feet up there. I have to look up at it. Hopefully I'm in frame for everything. My white balance is good, hopefully. I think I'm due for some new, um, really high quality tweezers. These ones were decent. I just abused them. I think they're flexi files. So there's that. That's ready for spraying. Um, I'll see if my airbrush will reach here. No thinning. Just shake her up and dump a little bit in. It's got that liquid uh, 
chrome look to it like oh shit my airbrush is really screwy I just don't want to screw it up here especially with everybody watching but yeah so you just Virtually no odor to this paint. Um, my knife is lethal. It is a um, scalpel, surgical scalpel. I buy them on Amazon. Or I shouldn't say I do. I I bought these on Amazon. Um, disposable scalpels. I think it was like 20 bucks for 10 of them, something like that. In a package like this. And, and it's a plastic handle. There's the uh, blade. I actually cut myself with this one, so there's a little blood on it. Um, like I said, they're very lethal. You pop, they're number 11. You pop that blade out of the plastic handle, or you could use it in this, but um, they're a bit flimsy. So to do fine work, um, they are a bit flimsy in this. So I pop them out and cut them with side cutters or something, and then stick them in my normal handle a bit shorter, and that's a lot more rigid than um, than in the plastic. So let's pull our mask now. Hopefully you're not all sleeping. Zoom her in here. Now you can see our chrome trim is done. I'm going to uh, brush paint the arms in. I should have used anything else as an example but this. Now the nice thing about this being alcohol based is you can take rubbing alcohol or I have the cleaner specific for the AK stuff. Let's zoom out here again. Whoops. Um, you can take a fine pointed q-tip and you can remove it. I uh, Back here I went a little wide with my um, trim, my chrome, so I finally adjusted that and it comes right off. Um, so it's quite nice that you can kind of fine tune things if they are a little bit out of whack. Um, I've done my wheel arches, um, the side window molding, the rear, and uh, now the windshield. Now I just got to do this side, and um, yeah, we'll be there. Put my window wiper arms in, and I generally take a um, Gundam pen marker. And I do my wiper blades in black after this. Um, but yeah, so that's how I do them. And uh, yeah, hopefully it wasn't too boring and you're still awake.